Let's have a look. See what's going on. I've got live over there. For some reason, my video's not there. Oh, there we go. I'll just uh, mute this bit as well when it comes up. There we go. Oh, what have I done? I don't know. Take that off. Yeah, so how we doing guys? Hope these are all well. So let's just get my trusty things about out the boat. Move the camera, touch, zoom in a little bit. I mean, I'll do. Excuse me. Oh, I'm not. So, what we're doing is obviously building these. So, these aren't on the bases yet simply because I ran out of glue, which was annoying. Um, and I know all these are push fit, but I still like to put a little bit of glue on. And also, I've just realised this is my first uh, like build kind of thing. Usually, you just see me uh, pin. So yeah. So what I've got done uh, already, I've literally just got like the normal. Um, Stormcast just to build, so that's what I'm going to be building today. So we've got that one, which is very, very cool. The only thing with this, though, there was a problem there, so I might have to get some green stuff and just fill in that little gap there, but that's nothing really. Um, I'm not a big fan of banner bearers or whatever they, you call them, but this one is just really nice. <laughs> um, it's going to be fun to paint. Um, that's another thing as well. I'm trying to come up with a colour scheme that's going to be nice and easy. So I was thinking like black with some type of accent colour, but you know, painting black it can be easy, but if you don't do it right, you can tell that it's just crap, basically. Uh, there you go. So what I have kind of decided to to do is I'm going to do like a very dark steel colour, uh, silver colour um, and then I'm thinking yellow, I don't know why but I remember doing a, a, a commission for a guy who wanted his necrons painted with a, like a yellow colour um, and that looked really good once they were all, all done, you know. Um, and then I built these and sprayed these up. So I'm going to do um, a little test model probably later on just to uh, see how like the yellow goes. But yeah, really looking forward to uh, actually painting them. So let's crap on anyway. So what you get as well, I haven't obviously built the uh, the big guy as well. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that to last. And what I've done as well is I haven't even attempted or touched the um, the orcs. Well, I'm not hundred percent sure what you call them now, but yeah, the uh, the other side of it. Hey, Guano man, how you doing? So I haven't even bothered, I'm just going to focus on the storm as first, because what I tend to do, and I think everyone, well, they might not, but a few people kind of, and I'm one of them, I will um, start a project, get halfway through and think, you know what, I can't be bothered. So what I'm doing is I'm going to paint the storm cast first, uh, we'll build and paint them, and then I'm going to build and paint the other side, just so I know that I'm going to get them all finished. Oh, excuse me. Um, but yeah, what you get also is for the these is just two of the same sprue, if you can see. Just two of the same sprue. Uh, and I'm going to just build 
build up. So you get like 10 guys, but five, like, I can't even pronounce it. There's five of them twice, if that makes sense. So let's crack on. Also, the washer's on. Wouldn't be a live show without the washer on. <laughs> so yeah. So if I, oh, did I show you these two that I made up? So there's that one. And there is the banner guy. Like I say, I haven't put them on the bases yet because I ran out of glue. I can't believe it. All these years and I've run out of glue. <laughs> so let's crack on anyway. Now, I need instructions. So I'm uh, just looking over here at the booklet. So 22, 23 and 28. Let's have a look. Where are you? 22, here we go. What I have noticed as well with these, there's not that much uh, clean up to do, which is a, a good thing. You know? But. Like I say, these are just push fit models, so you don't even need them really. I just. Uh, like to have them. Where's 23? There it is there. Oh, that looks a bit fiddly. See, my nippers are a bit chunky, so they don't have like the precision, the pre precision, I can't even say, point at the end. So, yeah. Might need to invest in some Sharpie ones. 28, let's have a look at you. Where are you? 28. Yeah, what I want as well, you get loads of like ones with uh, like bare heads and stuff, but I just want all mine to have the helmet on, which, you know. It's just something that I've thought of straight away. I'm working on my 1-6 scale Arnold Schwarzenegger from Terminator 2 with his bike. There's a pic in my Facebook group, but um, you may want to bleach your eyeballs after seeing my progress. <laughs> hey, put it in my group, mate. I like to see it. It's not too bad, what I tend to do is just build it and then I'll scrape off what I can see on the model when it's together, kind of thing. And then you get a better, in my opinion, you get a better look at the model. Excuse me, hair fever's playing up a little bit today. Uh, I'll have to buy some more tablets from the shop, actually, I think I'll run out. Oh, I just love that sound. Hey Dave, how you doing mate? Um, yeah, I'm doing alright mate. Like I said, I'm just building up some of these new storm masks. So we're going to talk about the elephant in the room as well. Um, <laughs> the football game last night. Oh my god. What can I say? Like, it's just. Once in a lifetime thing. So, no matter what the result, I was always. Oh god, what's happened there? Is that wrong? Must be. It's always going to be proud. Got a scheme in mind. So, yeah, mate, I think I do. I was going to go bl like black and red and gold but obviously Stu's gone that colour hasn't he? Um, so I think what I'm going to do, it's like 95% positive I'm going to do this, but I'm going to go like a really dark steel colour, really dark metal colour um, with yellow like accents I think. Oh, it could change but I definitely want to go the, the steel colour. 
That's the idea anyway. I'm just undecided. Saying that, saying I'm undecided, but I'm, I'm gonna. Ninety-five percent sure I'm gonna go with the yellow. But if another colour kind of um, jumps out at me, then I will be all over it. But yellow is uh, the colour at the moment. Like I've just said to the, the guys there, I did a Necron commission, and the la and the lad wanted um, yellow accent colours on that and that looked pretty decent you know it wasn't like the bright yellow it was more of like a mustardy colour which I think would work quite nice you know going up from browns I had an idea in mind like I was going to paint them up like um, Black Templar that type of thing you know where they are um, Knights and all that type of stuff, but um, again, I'm still not 100%. Doing dark steel, I'd suggest red accents. Yeah, I get what you, I get what you're saying there. Get what you're saying. Like say, I might, I might be, I, I probably will. <laughs> to be fair, I just had, I just had yellow in my mind, which. Yeah. Twenty-five, twenty-six. So what are you getting next for your? Corn, demons. Yeah, post some pics up in the group, uh, Dave, so people can see what you've uh, you're working on for the Taylor games. I think people will be uh, interested in seeing it. They are very, very cool. Sure, yet got some juggernauts on the table at the minute and a skull taker. Nice, 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 nice. Like I say, I was, when I was talking to you last night, I'm. <laughs> I've got obviously like a few characters already for the uh, the maggot king side for my. I'll show you. I've got this guy here that I'm, you know, sort of painting up. Still want to get some more details and stuff in there for them. But I just like the idea of the cream armor for all of them. I think that's a pretty uh, cool idea. Just my opinion, obviously. Let's see, I've got 30 plague bearers. Well, I've got the star collecting box set. I think I've still got the flies just to, to finish off for that part. Um, but I've, then I've finished the uh, star collecting on, on them. How do you fit in, you little sod? <laughs> right. Just be like that. So, how does it like that? And then 
going like that now. There we go. So we're done. Cream armoured storm last type. Don't make because I was I was I'm still debating on whether to do that. <laughs> I did I did uh, think about that at first, but yeah. I just again I just want something quick and effective that looks nice, you know, um to get them done with. I've kind of promised myself that I'm gonna um get them done. <laughs> I mean, I could, like I say, paint and gold, uh, paint and gold, paint and cream, but again, it'll just take forever. And I want something uh, pretty quick. So, I need 13, 14, 18, 16. This is the, the part of the hobby that I'm, I don't really like. <laughs> I don't like building stuff, but you know, needs needs be. Obviously, if you don't build your models, what's the point? Once I've done this and the wife gets back, I think we're going to uh, buy Kia, my original Stormcast from Visions 1, where it's quick and easy, Balthazar Gold, wash with our grass, highlighted with brass, red cloth, and done. <laughs> well, mine were pretty easy. Mine were gold, and then I did like cream, cream, yeah, or cream, like robes, innards, and then green outer, green uh, shoulder pauldrons or whatever you want to call them, just green accents um, and they look really nice, I, I personally thought. Um, but like I say, I accidentally <laughs> threw them in the bin, <laughs> which I am a bit gutted about. So this is kind of like a little dedication to them, but I just, I just don't want to paint gold armour. Ooh, that man's It was the first time, Dave, I've been to Middlesbrough uh, in a like well in a long, long time. And it was yesterday I had to go like say get some glue and get some spray. End up going to boys because um, games workshop wasn't open um, at the time. Oh my god. Not to say that the borough was, you know, a bloody fashion thingy of the world or whatever, but my god. Some of the clips. Uh, could always spray them silver, use agros dunes, crunch on them, make them pale gold and shade them. At the same time, see, I I haven't used any contrast. I, I'm, oh, I'm lying there. I've got the uh, Temple Guard Black or whatever it's called, um, Black Templar. But that's literally it. Um, <laughs> I just I'm like not scared to use them, but I just because I don't know how to use them, it kind of puts me off a little bit, you know. No, obviously you can get some 
really cool looking effects on them. But yeah, we'll do this for stuff like that, obviously. What is the point of that? Right, there we go. A good tool to have in your toolbox. I'll get a few and just play around. Yeah, absolutely, mate. Yeah, I think what I might do is just get some crappy models off eBay or something, or even if it's just, you know, the. Um, bloody hell. You know the free stormcast that you can get. I'll see if I can get loads of them. Just build them up and and have a play about and see what they like. But yeah, it's just the idea of them. I like the idea of them because obviously you, you know you spray and then you just paint that over and that's your effect kind of done. But I think the traditional traditionalist in me, if that's a word, just likes the idea of spraying, using your base coat, highlighting that up extra highlight you know now and obviously that the the um ooh, bloody hell contrast kind of skips loads of steps because it highlights it for you and all that type of stuff and don't get me wrong i'm definitely 100 percent not slagging off people who use it because you know i've seen some amazing work with it but for me it's just a it's a weird thing i don't know i like to say i'll definitely i'll get something i'll, I'll play about you know it probably it'll probably uh I just use spare parts. Yeah, I will yeah, I've got loads of them so I can do it actually, yeah, I'll do that. De -de -de. Right, so let's have a look. That goes in there. Making models, are we doing? Thank you for dropping by. I started a little bit early today. Um, usually, I've noticed when I've been doing a live recently, I've, uh, I've been coming in at like half ten and stuff like that. That simply cannot do. You can still use highlights on contrast, but it's really good as it allows the underlay to show through slightly so you get more metallic black, for example. All right, cool. All right, definitely. Like I say, that's stuff like that. I, I don't really know, so I'll uh, definitely have to have a little play about. I've seen some people use, like I say, just not the Wraithbone or the other, the other one, and you know they could use like a black spray. Not, not to say that, that I suppose that wouldn't work as much because it wouldn't come through, but or a silver spray or something and get some nice effects, you know. But I suppose that might be a, a, like an advanced technique, and obviously I'm not uh, advanced in it. So the bloody hell, practice and have a little go. See what the crap is. Uh, treated myself to a line this morning, being on 3.30 starts all week. Nice. Nice, nice. Well, not nice really. Shit, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Right, next part is 19. 19, 20, 21. Yeah, I did say this was going to be one. <laughs> Just watching me 
blue. Plus one the other, but only thing I'd say is don't use it like a wash apply it to one part of the model and remove pooling then move it to the next part to chuck it out yeah yeah that's I have seen that yeah not to go back over what you've kind of painted as well because obviously you'll uh, disturb the, the layer kind of thing yeah there's a guy on um, on YouTube who I think literally just does all his tutorials now with Contrast is it there? War hipster, yeah. Literally, all his videos now. He did a live the other day as well. Well, he started to do lives. Um, he says, I don't think he'll go back to uh normal paints. I think he's uh, he's definitely on the contrast, he loves contrast, so yeah. Juan Hidalgo is a god with contrasts. His YouTube videos are insane. See, a lot of people just think you can point a, a camera and start painting. Don't get me wrong, I know my videos aren't, you know, like crazy, insane with production and all that type of stuff. But even like what I do, kind of, it takes time, you know. I've got to, well, hopefully make sure that it's in focus for one, you know. Um, try and paint with a camera right in front of my face so you're almost blind it's, it's a lot harder than it looks so let's say for people like that who can paint really well with that is just for me just crazy and I think as well like that, again, that's why people who do YouTube and, you know, that's a part of their hobby is to do YouTube. Um, you know, that's why they've got all these Patreon stuff and... Because as much as, you know... Two seconds there. As much as, you know, sitting here doing this doesn't cost anything, the stuff that you, you use obviously does. So again, that's why people kind of use Patreon or buy me a coffee, which by the way, I have, if you uh, want to donate. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, why are you always asking for money? Not me, because no one asks me, but like you see like in groups, people booting off, oh, this person's asking for money. Well, they're not asking for money. It's end of the day they're doing something for you of the goodness of their heart you know it just takes time out of their day I'm assuming and where do you think all the, the stuff comes from you know Right, looks it. No one doing. Don't know why I'm back to dust. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Right, now let's do this prime. Apparently, what's it called? A vindica, vindicta prime. Hmm? I'm sure. So which 
which one are we going to do? The stubby one. Ooh, I don't know, I don't know. So I need B2, 3 and 12. B2, 3 and 12. Getting rubbish. I honestly think it is because I'm doing this hobby makes me has made my eyes a little bit worse. So obviously I'm just looking. I'm looking at little tiny bits of grey plastic. But luckily at work I get eye checks or whatever it is. Right, where are you? There you go. Let's just sort these bits out then. Oh yeah, if you also if you've got TikTok, um, go over and give me a little follow. I am one away from five hundred followers, which is pretty cool. You only did it as a daft thing. Um, obviously, my daughter's on. Well, it's not obvious, but my daughter's on TikTok and she raved about it. And I just turned around and said, "I bet you know I get more followers than you one day." So I made a TikTok. <laughs> not well to do all the daft dancing and stuff, but I thought well. You know, there seems to be a little bit of a hobby um, following on there. So, I've made it up. Where the heck do you look? Fair enough, it tells me to put you there, so that's where I'm putting you. I have a digital clock, I don't do the TikTok thing. <laughs> Morning, sorry I'm late, I was on the wrong YouTube user. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Well, if you shave yourself, Steve. <laughs> now, how are you doing, man? You alright? How the heck? Right, there we go. That looks. Oh, put my finger in all that. Looks alright. There you go. Square table, degenerate pot. Morning, it's like. 5218. Yeah. Oh, that's your. How are you doing? Oh, it's Steve's birthday. Everyone wish him happy birthday. Happy birthday, son. Was it 21? Tension for Steve because he was late, absolutely. Have you got a plan for it? I know, I know you old timers like to go to the bingo or whatever. <laughs> uh, B1. Fala. 
So he goes, it's your birthday, mate. I've put the washer on. Just because I know you like the way you're the, the washer. And also because my son got into bed last night, into my bed. And then when we woke up this morning, he pissed the bed. <laughs> it wasn't me, before anyone say it out. I didn't have too many lagers last night. I only had four. Just four lagers. Well, I watched the game with my daughter and my wife. Even my daughter had a little drink. I know she's 14, so I don't, you know, condone this. But, you know, it's England. So, oh, do you want a drink? So she got a little, uh, I'll say a little, she got a litre bottle of uh, VK Blue. <laughs> I'm writing out, I must not be late again. <laughs> must not be late. Yeah, so my daughter was having a little drink last night. <laughs> Shouting at the TV. Oh, I suppose that's typical English yob behaviour, isn't it? I found it quite funny when Jack Grealish got tackled last night and he was rolling all over. And my daughter absolutely fancies the pants off him, which no good really. Oh my god, get off him! Get off him! Yeah, I am. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Got to say though. Very, very proud of what we've done last night. It's, it would have been nice if we won, but you know, it's about time like this uh, people start to recognise England and you know get behind the lads. And all this racist shite that's been going on is just out of order. Out of order. wife's going to get her nails done today so if she comes back with the uh, Italian flag on her nails I'm gonna bite the fingernails off Good morning, underdog. Wash your out and chat pips. Yeah, yeah. Put it on because it's uh, Steve F's birthday, isn't it? So I'll stick it on for him. How are you doing anyway, Sprout? I hope you keep well, mate. Hey, it's 
thinness. But yeah, the washer is out, yeah. The washer is out. I'm slipping a bit really because usually you have no one well say usually. Usually but as of late we've had no washing really to do. Just little bits here there. It's piled up a little bit, which is alright, but you, know, you don't want to get too uh, too big. There's the the prime, I believe, Victor Vindicta Prime, which is a bit cool. So there's five of them built. And now I've just got to do that again, I think. Right, so I think so. I've built all of the uh, ones that you get. So now I've just got to build all them again because you get two lots. But you get you can have um, two squads of five. I'm assuming because you get two banners. But I just think I want it as one squad of ten. So I don't really need two banners. So yeah, happy days. Happy days. So I'll just use the other sprue because I know that's. Yeah. So we'll start with that one. The one, that one. The one. Be funny. part now lads well, I'm just looking at numbers like well, I'm a dick Start with that one. We'll do 22. Yeah, so like you say, after this, I'm going to go to IKEA, have a little look about, see what is there. I'm still looking for a little paint rack. I know I can make one myself, but it's just time, isn't it? You know, so I'm going to see if they've got like a little paint rack in there or something that I can uh, use. Because I'm getting myself a nice collection of paints at the moment. Granted, they are all <laughs> Games Workshop paints, but. There is a few Vallejo and game colour and all that type of stuff. And uh, D&D paints, which are, they're alright, the D&D. I did a video on them, but the, they are very watery, I've noticed. Very, very watery.
know that's a thing with these, you're always going to have some that are the same. I suppose. Looking at these bare heads though, they are really nice. It's just, I, I just want all my Stormcast to have helmets. Because I think the fluff of Stormcast is obviously they are reforged with the stars and all that, so I kind of have it in my head that they're a bit like, I, a bit like Thousand Suns, so they're trapped in their armour kind of thing. That's how I like to like imagine them. So unless you're gonna paint the skin like luminous or like shiny stuff. I'd just like to thank everyone for dropping by. It does mean a lot that you come and watch this silly old man. <laughs> this silly old man make models or paint them, really. I think, like I say, this is the first one I've ever done. Like a, a build along, which I know a few of you will probably enjoy more, not that I'm showing you exactly what you, you need to do, but you will definitely enjoy it more than me sitting here painting, I suppose. So, uh, GR Blazing Arrow, how are you doing, mate? How are you doing? Guys, don't forget to smash. Which models are you building? So, I'm building the Stormcast out of the Dominion box set, um, which are really, really cool. See there, I'll show you the Prime, so that's the squad leader, as it were. Um, none of these are put on bases yet, that's simply because I just have, literally haven't put them on bases. I'm not doing anything spectacular with the bases, I'm just gonna add like sand and, and just the normal stuff really um, but yeah and then once I've painted all these up um, once I've painted all these up I'm going to then obviously move on to the orc guys well thank you hope you're feeling a lot better than on your other video yeah mate that was yeah I'm feeling a lot, lot better, mate. That was literally because I had the uh, the COVID jab. <laughs> and as people know, it doesn't... Because uh, I feel nice. The little side effects of the COVID jab. Right, let's have a look at this now. 1430. 
Yeah, I'm feeling a lot better, mate. Hair fever's played up a bit, so you will hear me sniffing. Like that, there you go. <laughs> but yeah, that's just inevitable. You know. Doesn't matter how many tablets I take, but my uh, hair fever, I always sniff them in. Oh, that noise. Wee hee. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> so, this knife is extremely, extremely sharp. I think when I very first started to use it to scrape off my uh, mold lines, I literally sliced my fingers to bits. Um, but because it's so sharp, I didn't even know I'd done it. Um, and then I just looked at my uh, cutting boards and thinking, eh, what's going on here? I haven't painted anything today. Yeah, with my blood all over. <laughs> Eighteen. Ah, it is a clue, it is a clue, it is a clue. I take effect from my hair fever. I can't pronounce that, mate. I will uh, have a look at that because I need to do something, mate, because it's just, oh my word. Like, I'll be fine. And then all of a sudden, if I just have a sneeze, that's it. My nose starts running. You know, I've, my eyes are itchy as. It's literally the second I've, I've stopped sneezing. I know there's like a wipe you can have as well, like a face wipe that you can use and stuff, but there's a lass at work and she took the, the nasal spray, but then also took the uh, the wipe and it must have reacted to the nasal spray and it burned the inside of her nose, like, oh my word, it was horrible to see. Yeah, the size of those tablets, but they work. <laughs> oh, excuse me. It's like sn snotting about and everything. Look. Right, so we need uh, 16 and 18. There we go. How long have we been on here? Oh, nearly in the hour.
nine people watching thank you very much guys Yeah, to make these fit even better, best off like actually chopping the, uh, the tabs off. But just have another. Come, daft. Come silly Billy. Oh, good morning from a somewhat hazy Aberdeen hope and all you chaps and diff on duty girls are not too hungover from last night's power show at Wembley. Ah, see, that's where you're wrong, mate. It wasn't a power show. We were extremely good, you know. Um, it's amazing what we've done there. Absolutely amazing. I wasn't really bothered. Although, you know, I can't say I'm not really bothered. It would have been nice to have won, but we didn't. So that's, that's it, as simple as that. There's no point uh, moping about. At the end of the day, we played football, in my opinion, a lot better than uh, Italy. You know, we didn't have to resort to grabbing all the people and flinging them to the floor to win balls. And for me, that's a little moral victory. But it doesn't matter because the World Cup is in 400 and something odd days. And then we'll bring it up. Oh, sounds like there's a train chasing that washing mate. It's, it does my head. It just decides it wants to move by itself. <laughs> and it doesn't help that it's literally right next to this door here. I think I need to adjust the, uh, the feet on the bottom. Stop it from uh, wobbling everywhere. What's happened here? What's happened? There we go, that's better. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, friend of mine has just woke up, posted a pic on Discord. He's got two black eyes and a huge bump on his head and can't remember anything after 10 o'clock. Oops, yeah, definitely oops, that one. Okay, enough of the gloom. What is this storm ass building? Well, I never. I know, yeah. Yes. I didn't think I'd see the day when I'd be building something on, online, but I am. <laughs> I would have had these built the other day, but I literally built um, like maybe six men out of the box and my glue ran out and I was like, what? So I had to wait till uh, yesterday to go to the shops and uh, get some. Because what I tend to do, if I, like I say, I buy Bim uh, Biminion, Dominion or, you know, Dark Imperium or whatever, Um, I tend to just get it all out, build it, and it sits there till you know, I can decide what colour scheme I want to do, or then I paint it and then think, no, nah, why have I painted it this colour, it doesn't look right, I don't want to do this anymore, then I value on trying to strip it and repaint it, and then in the end I just think, bollocks, that'll be arsed. And that's, again, how you 
waste money, I suppose. Um, so what I've decided to do, and it makes sense really, is just build the Stormcast side, build and paint that, and then move over to the uh, the next side and, and do that. And then hopefully I'll have them all built and painted. I'm not too sure what the time scale will be, but again, I'm not so bothered. I want to get the Stormcast done, really, like, quickish. Hence why I'm trying to figure out a quick and easy paid scheme, but, you know, it's, it's, not, the, it's not to be rushed, it, it, it's not for anything. But having said that, the lads in that at the local games workshop are doing like Taylor Gamers, so uh, I'll be adding these to that, I suppose. Then again, I don't know. Is that even stuck on? I don't even know if that's stuck on. It looks it. Just look it. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. Everyone's saying hello. Don't forget to hit that like button, guys. La, 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 la. Oh, God. Let's have a look. So, we've got... Four, seven. Yeah, just need another three. Do, 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 do. Let's have a look. Where is this thing? Ten people watching, wow. So what are people's next projects or what are they working on now anyway? Is it sci-fi, car, or truck, bike? What is it? Ooh, you can see my big head. Ooh, that's not good. There we go. So that needs to go through that, apparently. Female Stormcast, that's mad. 
Female of the species is more deadly than the male. Right. Do apologize for the singing. Seven, thirty five, thirty nine. Where is there to stop them? Where is there to stop them? It's not on that one. As I have been told to virtually cease modelling due to my pure eyesight and shake and I am finishing off my McFarlane Space Marine which is undercoated in grey, blue and will probably be a wolf. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's a shame. It's a shame that you're, you're going down that route mate to be fair. With your health I mean, I don't mean obviously <laughs> that you're pained. Um, you know, with what doctors can do and all that type of stuff would be really good. I've seen a, a thing online where someone takes out their CBD oil or whatever it is, um, and it's literally just stopped them shaking. And he had, I think he had like um, dementia, or early stage dementia, or whatever it was. Oh, I can't remember which one makes you shake as well. I'm not saying that that's what you've got, so uh, when do we get to see your work at all? Absolutely, yeah, we want to see your work, mate. Get it in the group. 35, 39. Get it in the group. Dave's doing his job, good lads. Good lad. No, gotta take off. Jesus Christ. I think it's on its last spin. <laughs> Jesus. Wash is taking off now. Whoa, we'll open it. We'll open it. <laughs> Here's the wife. Here's the wife. Jenny would take it off. <laughs> you are. The washer's cold fucking metal. <laughs> How's your knee? How's your knee? How's your fingers? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Okay. Not even. No, not in the center of the world. Well, I suppose from the day before I keep the potential pocket on my foot together, shall we? So, what I think I've achieved over the years, but I've no promises. Well. Are you sure it's a washing machine and not a World War II bomber? <laughs> Just because the floor might be leaving that time. And the legs don't get to it. What do? Done as well, but obviously we've got like a really nice like, camera thing. Like, I'm going to focus on that. I don't know what's happening. Sure. Switch to tell you. Switch to tell you. Maybe. Maybe. build this last one and then I'm done. Well, my washing has completed its cycle, so 20 tees that were, in my opinion, still rough as last machine was built. 
So please, God, can I have at least one day of sunshine and travel? <laughs> no, you can't. That's it, the washer has reached orbit. It's <laughs> morning, Mrs. Underdog. How are you? The mini, how are the minis going? Finish painting them yet, Mrs. Baza. No, she hasn't. No. No. She's done one. I haven't really had a chance to sit down and just do that. Look at my hectic lifestyle. <laughs> Of being a student on a summer break. But I will. I will never go. But I'm at the point now where I'm putting detail on and I'm finding that a bit tricky. Start taking them out of the washing room. Oh, yeah. Cool. It is like that. Yay. Considering he's a push fit, maybe try. So you know, I posted that video on YouTube, YouTube on uh, Facebook yesterday, the Vindaloo. Yeah. Got copyrighted. <laughs> so basically, lads, I put a video of my two boys dancing to Vindo, and I got a thing back off Facebook saying we have stopped the recording, the audio recording for 20 seconds into the video, 
because it's against whatever. Yeah, you could hear the, the two minute video. <laughs> There's a lot of difference. <laughs> You've stopped 20 seconds of the song. So then it gave me the option to put the, the audio back on. So I was like, yep. Absolutely stupid. Oh, excuse me. Sniffle eat. Thirty-seven. We'll just bear on this. I was given a set of pox walkers by that. Nice. Was it um, Dad who gave you that? I think I saw you put something on Facebook about that. It's a good way of um, practicing your your texture painting with pox walkers because obviously every one of them is different. Yeah, so practice your dry brushing, your washing, all that good stuff. So we are done by sticking these on the piece. Then all I've got left to build the star blast is the big winged angel thing. There we go. Right. Let me get some verses out. Ooh. Yes, it was from Mike at Scaly Models. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, so let me figure this out. Yeah. 
Yes, they can get a bit nippy over copyright material on videos, but change the words to your local takeaway and it's all fair. I wonder if I wonder if uh, FIFA will do a just given page for my kids then, <laughs> like they did the German lad. <laughs> Excuse me. All my hairy friends have arrived, so guess who will be exercising today? Walkies! <laughs> well, I think we're all getting a dog, aren't we? Mm, maybe. Maybe. I'm going to stop there looking at Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It'll be good for the boys, I think, but you know, there's a lot of oh, big head in the way again. E God. Hmm. 
At least you're getting your exercise in there, that's the main thing, isn't Jesus Christ. There we go. Buzzer, there's a Facebook challenge I saw over the weekend about a free puppy Alsatian bought in error by a woman's husband, but as it uh, is allergic, she's given the puppy away for good home. No, we need something that's small and doesn't shed hair. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, <sighs> but thank you for the uh, for telling us. Right, so let's put some of these in. We should have put these in first. Let's just put this in the middle.
Right. That is it, I believe. Right, guys, thank you for watching. That's them all built and stuff like that. All I've got to do now is literally do this one. So I'll do that on a later video. Um, but yeah, just like to say thank you for dropping by. Uh, don't forget to go over to the Facebook group, become a member, go donate if you feel like you want to. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all on the next one.